It's been an odd growing year and finally it is time to get some things out in the ground which would normally already be out there. This week, it's my tomatoes. Twenty twenty four so far has really without doubt been a terrible year in terms of our weather and certainly in terms of our growing spaces, although here I'm actually surrounded by these beautiful calandula and this Rebecca. Now we've also had really exciting times with lots of shows going on and what's been really really exciting this year is the amount of ornamental edibles or edimentals which have actually been out there. Now again we've had people like Adam Frost actually displaying a brilliant garden this year and one of the really key ideas that he has displayed is the idea of interplanting and companion planting. Now for most of us we do companion plants anyway however actually putting the ornamentals and the edibles together rather than having them completely separate has been a real takeaway idea for me this year. So later than usual, much later than usual, I'm going to be getting my tomatoes out in the ground outside. Now, obviously being at the end of June or towards the end of June, we are potentially going to be hitting blight season. So I'm going to be planting these well away from my potatoes because obviously if the potatoes are going to get blight, they will pass it on to the tomatoes because they are both a part of the nightshade family. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be planting planting some of my tomatoes in sort of a more traditional way, sort of in rows. However, I've actually this year gone for quite a big experiment and I'm going to be interplanting amongst really well established growing sort of companions, but also ornamentals as well. So very simply what I've done is I've put up a number of teepees and I am actually going for three plants of the same variety on each of the teepees to actually go into the ground. Now, it does mean that actually they are quite close together and really you want to have about five foot between them. But, you know, with this, it is a trial. Let's see how it does. Now I'm just going to, in amongst, and I'm just going to really, really carefully have a look in amongst sort of the planting that I've already got here for a space. Just going to, like I normally would, dig a bit of a hole. Then actually I can see the mycelium network here is working amazingly and then just pop it in. Now what I'm also going to do with these tomato plants is actually lean them slightly towards the canes so again as they grow up they'll actually have that to support them. Now not only is this here for support but because obviously I'm actually interplanting in quite tall planting at the moment this also lets me know exactly where my tomato plants are. So bit of an experiment. I'm going to make sure that actually those tomato plants are quite deep down so that those trichal hairs are actually going to be covered up to establish more roots and what's going to happen is hopefully they're going to be more protected. All this ground coverage is actually going to help to retain the moisture. Not that we feel like we need it at the moment because of the amount of rain but actually help me to keep these tomatoes growing and hoping again hoping 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 for a really good harvest this year even though it's really late in the season to be getting them out. <laughs> 